main common source amplifier with source resistance. So you can uh, tell, uh, so this is uh, something like a common emitter amplifier with emitter resistance, which we discussed in the previous slide. Common source amplifier with source resistance. That means the same circuit, let's just state in this circuit, there was no source resistance, source was connected to ground, but now I'm going to put one resistance. RS. And you know what is the role of this RS? It provides negative feedback. Okay. It provides negative feedback. The rest of the part is the same. Yeah. This common source amplifier with source resistance. And we are taking out from here, you know. So the small signal model. So, so first draw the small signal circuit or equivalent circuit. So first draw the FET model. So this is VGS. Now check VI. This is grounded. Okay. This side we have GM VGS, you know. And this side we have RD. Okay, so this is the source terminal. Huh? Now we have one resistance, RS. And here we have RL, and which is connected to ground. This is P0. The circuit is almost same, only the modification is here. Now the source is not directly connected to ground because one source resistance RS is present. So you can compare the structure with uh, your common emitter amplifier with emitter resistance. You will find some similar. Okay, yes. So for this circuit, we are going to derive the same parameter. So let us see how to develop it. So this is ID. And as you know, that uh, V naught that is equal to minus ID into RL. So we already understand that here. Okay, so V not equal to minus I into R. So voltage gain calculation. So how to calculate voltage gain? Let us see. A little bit complicated. So what we can do, we can apply a KVL here, a big KVL loop. Let us see. Like this. We can apply a big KVL loop. Or we know that is already V not. We are already familiar with that. This is V naught. Okay. And so instead of taking this big loop, also we can say this voltage to this voltage that is V naught. We know. So what is the value of V naught? Check. We we can say that V naught value is equal to the voltage drop bit across this resistance plus the voltage drop across this resistance. Check. The V naught, the voltage between this point to this point, equal to the voltage drop across this resistance plus the voltage drop across this. Resistance. Okay, so to find the voltage drop across this resistance, first see what is the current flowing through. To find the voltage drop across the resistance Rd, small Rd, okay, we are going to calculate what is the current flowing through that. Can you tell me what is the current flowing through the small Rd resistance? GMVG. GMVG, yes. GMVG is flowing here. Uh -huh. Oh, what is the current coming here at this point? ID. ID minus G of VG. Yes. ID mm. minus So incoming current is ID. Here we have one component G and VG. The current going to here, ID minus G and VG. Okay. So we can write V not equal to ID minus GM into VGS into small rd okay plus second part what is the current flowing to this is there any current coming from this side 
No, sir. This is so the current going to this GMDGS. how much? GMDGS. Check. Mm. Check here. Here the current divided into two parts. They are coming through the two different parts. Again, they combine together at this point. So what is the current going to RS? GM VGS plus R ID. VGS plus ID. Current flowing through here, GM VGS. Current flowing to this branch, ID minus GM VGS. Only ID. Sir. The same, this current, this current here, ID divided into two parts. This is part one, this is part two. Ultimately, again, they combine together here. So the current is ID, isn't it? The same yes. Current, right? yes. Okay. So, voltage drop will be ID into RS. This one. So, V0 equal to ID minus GMVGS into RD plus ID into RS. Okay. That is okay. Fine. Now, here the circuit is a little bit different. So, just take a look on the input side. Can we say this voltage VI that is equal to this voltage plus this voltage. The voltage between this point to this point equal to this to this point plus this to this point. So applying KVL at the input side, we can write, okay, so from input side, we can write VI equal to VGS, just say VGS plus MID into RS. So this is the equation we are getting from input side. So what to do? So here, uh, from this equation, we can write VGS equal to VI minus IDRS. So we can write. So your job is to put this VGS value here. Okay. Now check. If I put this VGS value, the rest of the part will be VI and IDRS. Okay. And then after putting this, okay, we can calculate what is the value of V0 by VI. Okay, let's simplify that part. Okay, I am writing in this way. So, V0 equal to minus ID into RL, that is equal to ID into RD, just to check my derivation, whether I'm doing any mistake or not, ID into RD minus GM into RD, that is equal to mu into, in place of VGS, I'm writing this, VI minus IDRS plus IDRS, okay. That is IDRD minus mu VI plus mu IDRS plus IDRS. So there are lots of ID term is present, so I can take ID common. So ID into RD plus RS plus mu rs plus rl okay equal to this will come here mu times of vi so please check whether i'm doing any mistake or not okay this so this is the value of id we are getting so you can write id equal to something mu vi divided by this so this is the value of id and finally v0 calculate v0 using this so v0 that is equal to minus id into rl i am putting this id value that is minus mu vi divided by bottom one is rd plus mu plus one into rs plus 
other. So gain a v that is v naught by v i that is equal to minus mu r l by r d plus r l plus r s into mu plus one. So this is the answer I am getting. The expression for voltage gain. Take a look. So verify the derivation, especially here, whether I am doing any mistake or not. So this is the derivation for common source amplifier with source resistance voltage gain. In this class, we shall derive what is output resistance. Now listen. In exam, if it is mentioned that calculate that voltage gain and output resistance of common source amplifier, if uh, it is mentioned in that way, so you can select any mode. That means the first one, which we discussed earlier, without source resistance, or you can go for it. That's your choice. Okay, so generally, in the exam, it is mentioned in that way. Okay, but if it is specifically mentioned that common source amplifier with source resistance, then you have to go for this confidence. Otherwise, it is, you, you may omit this. You can go for the first one because uh, the first derivation was a much more uh, easier compared to the second. Okay, so when you are adding the source resistance, so, so many extra terms will come and that uh, you, you just check the gain expression. So it's a little bit complex compared to the previous one. So if I look at the input side KVL, once again, just check the derivation of which type of equation we got by applying the input side, KVL at the input side, we got this one, okay. So VI equal to VGS plus IDRS, okay. So here you can check the voltage here, VI, voltage between this point with respect to ground, VI, that is equal to basically this voltage plus the voltage drop across the resistance. So we can write VI equal to VGS plus ID into RS. And as per the condition, because we are going to calculate output resistance, so VI zero, so zero equal to VGS plus ID into RS, that gives VGS equal to minus ID into RS. Okay, by putting the condition VI equal to zero here. Now, uh, so we got this after putting the first condition. The second case, see the RL equal to infinite. So we have to consider the load is infinite. That means basically it will tell us uh, to open the load from the circuit, to disconnect the load from the circuit. So we can uh, remove the load here. Okay, just disconnect the load, this one. So then you can see, uh, we know that the voltage uh, at the output terminal, that is V0, okay, V0. So uh, we can see one thing, see this current source with parallel resistance. So we here we have a current source, a GM, VGS, its value, and one parallel resistance is there, RD, okay. So can we convert it to a voltage source with series resistance? Here we have a current source with parallel resistance, that is basically not an equivalent circuit. Can we represent it by using a voltage source and series resistance? Is it possible? Anyone? We can derive using this circuit, that is okay, but uh, we can further simplify the circuit. So you know the current source with parallel resistance, it can be represented by a voltage source with series resistance, that is Hebman equivalent circuit. Okay. So here, the GM, uh, VGS, and RD show, uh, we can separately draw this part, so it will be like this, just check. Current source with parallel resistance, it is represented as a voltage source with series resistance. The value of resistance is same, RD. Okay, and bottom we have this one, RS. Capital R, this. So we just, transform this one. Current source with parallel resistance, this block is represented by using a Thevenin equivalent circuit that is voltage source with series resistance. But what will be the value? The first thing is see the direction. The current is flowing from this point to this point, downward direction, so this one will be minus, this one is plus. Okay. The current source value, if you see the current source, the polarity, current flows from minus to towards plus. Okay. So this is the polarity. 
So what will be the value? So value will be simply I into R. So GM into RT into VGS. So the value of this current source will be GM VGS into RT. And we know GM into RT that is equal to mu. So mu into VGS, the value of current source. Uh, sorry, voltage source. Okay. So V equal to I into R. This one, mu into VGS. Okay. So now you can put the value of VGS from here. Okay. So you can substitute the value of VGS. And we know this, that voltage here that is V0 and the current flowing in this network that is ID. So can you calculate what will be the value of V0 by ID? So that is nothing but your output resistance R0. Okay. So V0 by ID, so that is basically your output resistance R0. What you can do, you can apply KVM here. Okay, to find out this value. Okay, we just apply KVM. So can you tell me what will be the equation after applying KVL? Anyone? So minus mu VGS. Start from the beginning here. So this is let I assume there is a voltage source V0. So this V0 will be summation of what? This. Okay, okay, you write it. Okay, suppose here we have a voltage source V0. Like this. Okay, good. Plus minus. Then tell. So what will be the equation? The right side we have a voltage source V naught polarity plus minus. So minus V naught uh, plus IDRD. Uh, plus IDRD. Plus IDRD. So we can take ID common. Then. Plus mu VGS. So minus, minus mu to, plus. Minus to plus. So, so here you are taking minus to plus minus V naught. So here you have to follow the same minus to plus minus mu VGS. That is equal to zero. Now uh, you just uh, replace the value of VGS by using this. And then uh, your job is to calculate this R0. Tell me what is the result you are getting. That is V naught by ID. Simplify it and tell me whether you are getting this type of result or not. You just substitute VGS by using minus ID into RS, take ID common, then V0 by ID. That is R0. Okay. Just verify. <coughs> Sir, Rd Rs into mu plus 1. I have written it at the right corner, bottom. Yes, you are getting correct. Rd plus Rs into mu plus 1. Correct. This is. So this is the process to calculate output resistance. And you can follow this process uh, to find out output resistance of any network. So as I told you earlier, so we have two configuration, common source without source resistance and with source resistance. So depending upon your position, so you can answer. If nothing is mentioned, you can go for any one. But the last configuration we are going to discuss, that is common drain configuration. And I will discuss uh, the simple one. Okay. And uh, also we have a second configuration similar to this, common drain amplifier with drain resistance. But you can follow the same definition. It will be just like this. So we are going for the second one that is common drain amplifier. Now remember this common drain amplifier is similar to your common collector amplifier for BJT. Okay. It's similar to your common collector amplifier of BJT. And you know the common collector amplifier for BJT it is known as emitter follower. Okay, it is known as emitter follower. Similarly, for FET, okay, so this is known as source follower. Okay, it is known as source follower. So here we have VI, same circuit, 
So, but in the drain terminal, we are not connecting any resistance. Okay, it is directly connected to VDD and in source, uh, we are taking output across source. So, in emitter follower and common collector circuit, we are taking output from the emitter. Similarly, here for common drain configuration or source follower circuit, we are taking output from source. Same configuration only the BJT is replaced by A2. And the name is different. So this is drain, this is gate, and this is source time. And we are taking output from this. So let's go for the small signal model. So the same model, there is no change. So we have output size GMBGS. We have a parallel resistance that is RT. Okay, so this is my drain terminal, this is my gate terminal, and this is my source terminal. And in case source terminal, we have a resistance RS, and this one is grounded, and we are taking output from here, V0. See, the V0 uh, we are taking uh, across RS. So basically here, RS gives like the load, and you know this is VGS. And at the input side, we have VI. If anyone having any doubt regarding this a diagram, so please ask. This. But uh, what about this terminal, drain? See, drain is connected to VDD. So in our model, how to model this one? How to connect this? In actual diagram, drain connected to VDD. So in the equivalent circuit, how we shall connect drain? Anyone? Grounded. Grounded, good. Okay, so drain is grounded because VDD will be replaced by ground. That's all. So now our circuit is ready for analysis. So just see, <coughs> uh, yeah, this is the drain current ID and the same current is flowing here ID. So our first job is to calculate ID. So we have to find out what is the ID because the V0 value we can easily calculate. So V0 equal to ID into RS. See? V0 is the voltage drop across this resistance that is ID into RS. Okay. So if we can find out what is the value of ID, we can easily calculate the value of this. So first go to the input side KVM. It is exactly same as before. See? VI equal to VGS plus IDRS. So I'm not going to explain it again. So VI, this voltage equal to this voltage VGS plus this voltage ID into RS. So from input side, so we got VI equal to VGS plus ID into RS. Okay. So now from output side, Can you tell me if I apply KVL at the output side, what will be the equation? Okay. The voltage between this point and this point that is down, that is zero because this is also grounded. So this is also grounded. Okay. So we can say the voltage between drain and ground here, okay, that is zero. So zero equal to the voltage drop across this resistance plus voltage drop across this. Just check one second. The voltage between this point with respect to ground, so that is zero because this is grounded, this point is also grounded. So this to this voltage equal to the voltage drop across this resistance RD and voltage drop across this resistance RS. So what is the current flowing to RD? In our previous case also, we also calculate this time. What is the current flowing to RD? How much? ID minus GMBGS. Yes, ID minus GMBGS. Just change. This current is GMBGS. This current is ID. So rest of the path, ID minus GMBGS. And the value of resistance, RT. Because the voltage drop equal to I into R. And this one is nothing but ID into RS. Okay, so that is equal to zero. <coughs> so this is our output side. So what to do, so this one, you just put the VGS value here, okay. In place of uh, VGS, you put VGS equal to how much VI minus IDRS, 
So D G is equal to G I minus I T I. So actually, if you see the derivation of common source and common drains, a lot of common things are present. Same equation, similar type of equation. Only we are taking output from different point. Okay, different point. So we just replace D G S by using this. Put D G S equal to V I minus I T R S and calculate what is the value of I D. Okay, so find I. They just tell me what is the value of ID you are getting. ID equal to how much from this? You can see when you will replace VGS, so it will be a ID VI minus ID RS. So you can take ID common and you will get one equation of ID. So tell me quickly. So check the answer. Sir, mu V I by R D minus mu R S plus R S. R D it will be plus check. Check the answer on the screen. It's written in the green color. Mu V I by R D plus if I take R S common, R S into mu plus one. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the value of ID we are getting after solving this equation. Okay. After uh, solving this one, we got this value of ID. Okay. So anyone having any doubts? So please ask. So you just put the value of ID there. Now rest of the part is very simple. So V not equal to ID into RS. Okay. So ID into RS. You just multiply RS with here. And then we are going to calculate gain that is V0 by VI. You can see we have a VI term here. Okay, so this VI will come at the bottom. So gain will be mu RS by RD plus RS into mu plus one. Okay, so this is the gain okay, of common drain amplifier. And one interesting thing, see. This mu RS by RD plus RS into mu plus one, again check this value of RD is generally quite less compared to this RS into mu plus one. Okay, so mu plus one RS and mu RS because mu plus one and mu, so we can consider they are same. So the value of A will be close to one. So basically it follows the same property similar to your emitter forward circuit. We are voltage gain, the voltage gain you are getting, so that is close to one. Actually it, is, it is less than one. 0.8.9 in that range. Okay. 
So in case of emitter forward sharp it also we got the gain value which is also less than one. So the common drain amplifier, uh, here we cannot amplify a voltage. Their voltage gain is always less than one, but for common source, we have a gain. Okay. So, uh, so you can calculate this part so to find the voltage gain and the remaining part is output resistance. So let's find out output resistance of common drain amplifier. Okay. So we can go back to the circuit, this type of circuit we have. Okay, so we can draw it once again. We have VI, we have VGS, We have RS. Here we have sorry, GM VGS, and here we have RT. This one was grounded. This one grounded. We are taking output from here V naught. So this is our circuit. And the first thing you know, we have to put VI equal to zero for the calculation of output resistance. So if I put VI equal to zero, that gives VGS equal to minus IT into RS. I'm not going to repeat it once again, just check the KVL equation. VI equal to VGS plus IT RS. By putting the VI zero, we got VGS equal to minus of IT RS. Now, when we are, we are going to calculate the output resistance, the thing is, we have to open the load also. Okay, that is another one thing. So, R, RL tends to infinite. But which one is load in our case? In this diagram, which one is load? Concept of load means across that we are collecting the output. So, which one is load resistance? So, RS. RS. Yes, RS. So, here we have. We said RS tends to infinite, that means, uh, so we have to remove the RS. This is, this is basically RS, okay. And the voltage we got here, so that is nothing but V0. Because, you know, V0 is the output side voltage, V0, okay. So RS is open, okay, and the voltage here V0. So basically, this equation we can write, okay, uh, this ID into RS previously it was uh, that V naught, so we can write it is minus of V naught, minus of ID RS, because see our KVL equation was like this, VI equal to VGS plus ID into RS, like this. Okay, so in form of V naught also we can write VI equal to VGS this voltage plus this voltage. So ID into RS previously it was ID RS before removing RS. So now it is zero. So if I put VI zero, so VGS will be minus of zero. So I'm doing that. So this R is infinite. So R is infinite, we already open the load. Now again, I do the same thing. There is a current source with parallel resistance. So we can convert it to a voltage source with series resistance. The value of voltage source will be GM into RD into VGS, that is mu VGS. Okay, and here we have another one voltage of value V naught. V naught. Okay. We have another one voltage V naught. This is grounded. This one grounded. Let this is ground. So this is the equivalent circuit. You can see this is the equivalent circuit to find R0, output resistance, okay, to find R0. So what we have to do, we have to calculate what is the current, okay. So we have a lots of voltage sources, one is V0, another one is mu, VGS, etc., etc. You just try to find what is the current R. Okay, then R0 will be just 
that value of voltage at the output side V naught here actually by I. So this parameter we have to calculate. Okay, R zero equal to V naught by I. So if I apply KVL once again, so what will be the equation? So apply KVL. Let's try. In the circuit, uh, tell minus V naught plus mu minus V naught plus mu VGS plus mu VGS plus RDI plus I into RD that is equal to zero. Okay, put the value of VGS so minus V naught. What is the value of VGS? Minus V naught. Minus V naught, uh, sorry, minus mu into V naught. Okay. Plus I into RD equal to zero. Okay. So we can say I into RD equal to V naught into mu plus one. So, V naught by I, that is nothing but our desired quantity, R0, that will be R D by mu plus one. Okay. So this is the value of output resistance for a common drain amplifier without any drain resistance. Okay, R D by mu plus one. In this way, we can calculate. And again, uh, if you want, so you can go for another one configuration, common drain amplifier, you can check your textbook with drain resistance, that means here one resistance will be consumed. Okay, so then the solution will be a little bit different, but uh, the process is same. If you can draw the diagram, so you can uh, go for the derivation and all these things. Okay. So this is all about the analysis of APT amplifier, calculation of gain and output resistance for uh, that common source and common drain configuration. It's very, very important. Okay, you have to check. And finally, uh, we have to write the summary or conclusion. Okay. Summary. So if you check the common source or CS configuration, okay, the value of gain we are getting greater than one, the value of voltage gain we are getting greater than one, and it is negative. Negative means there is a phase of 180 degree phase difference. You know, whenever the gain is negative, there is a phase change of 180 degrees. So you can check the common source amplifier, the gain expression we are getting, there is a minus sign. Indicates the phase difference between <coughs> input and output, that is 180 degrees. Same thing with source resistance. Again, check, we got another one gain expression, which is also negative. So basically, common source amplifier, it will uh, produce uh, the gain, okay, and the input output uh, that is basically 180 degree uh, in phase, phase shift 180 degree, okay, But for common gain amplifier, you check what is the expression for gain, so there is no such minus sign, check it, it's a class, okay, mu r s by r d in plus r s into mu plus one. So for CD amplifier, CD configuration, common gain configuration, A is less than one, but uh the input there's a but no phase shift no phase shift between input and output because there is no such minus sign so input and output they are the same phase there is non-inverting it is it's not inverting the output it's non-inverting okay but the common source is inverting Then <coughs> that if I compare that BJT model with FET model, okay. So comparison between FET and BJT small signal model, okay, of course at low frequency. And you know, for low frequency, the BJT small signal model means we are talking about H model. And for ACT, we have uh, the model that is BGS, GM, BGS, and IT. Okay. So if you check, the first point will come number one, 
that's the FET is basically you can check the output that we have a current source, the value is G and DGS check. In the FET model, okay, let's go to that uh, model once again. Let's check here. The output side we have a current source GM into VGS for FET model, which is controlled by what? VGS. So FET is a voltage control device. Let's check FET is a voltage control device. So the output side current controlled by the input side voltage VGS. Why is for BJT? If you can remember that uh, H model of BJT. Okay, so uh, I'm drawing it once again. This. Okay, so here we have HI, here we have HRV2, here we have HFI1, and here we have 1 by HO. Just check. Output side we have again, we have a current source HFI1, but it depends upon the value of input current. For FET, it was a GM VGS that depends upon input voltage. But for BJT, it depends upon the input current. So FET is voltage controlled. Okay, because the GM VGS is controlled by VGS, whereas for BJT is current control. So this is the comparison between equivalent circuit. I'm not going to compare FET and BJT. This is the comparison between two equivalent circuits. So what are the results we got? Okay, so it is a current control device. Second thing, if you observe, in case of FET model, just check, there is no feedback. Feedback means when some part of the output connected to the input, just check. In the input side, we have only VGS. Okay, at low frequency, we have only VGS, but there is no such component of some function of VDS. Means there is no other component, extra component present at the input side, which is a function of output side voltage or VGS. But for BJT, for BJT H model, if you check here, just check, what is this? We have a voltage source of value HRV2 that depends upon the value of V2 output side voltage. Let's check. At the input side, so this is the input side, we have a voltage source HRV2 that depends upon the value of output voltage V2. So this is a feedback element. Okay, for this is, so for FET, well, in FET model, of course at low frequency, because at high frequency also FET having some feedback, at the low frequency, there is no feedback. But for BJT, the feedback component HRV2 is present. So for BJT, even at low frequency, the feedback part HRV2 is present. Okay. And the third point you may add the FET having very high input impedance compared to BJT. FET having this FET model, you can check. Just check the model for FET. The input side is open. If you check any FET model, check. The input side is open. That means it is having infinite input impedance in the model we are considering, but it is not infinite. It is finite, but quite large. Whereas for BJT, just check, we have uh, some component resistance HI. So it is roughly equal to HI for common emitter. And what is the value of HI for common emitter? HIE, that is typically one kilo ohm. It is not a large enough. So the input impedance of FET is high. Okay. Whereas for BJT, uh, let's assume the BJT is in common emitter configuration, the value of input impedance typically HI. So those are the summary of uh, this common source and common dream configuration and those are